Welcome to there you go. <laughs> Welcome to there you go's races. I don't know what I've done. <laughs> oh. You nervous, are you? Yeah, no, nah, nah. We're here, Eddie. We're here. You ready to go racing? No. <laughs> That's right, we did it. We did it out the back of the truck today. Everybody's being so helpful. Not on a trailer today. Why are we scuffing the tires, Eddie? Oh, uh, make them stick better. Have a little bit more uh, something. Then why are we scuffing the tires? What's it do? Uh, makes it look better. <laughs> Jordan, you got an answer for that one? Uh, gives it more grip, I guess. The purpose of scuffing the tire is to get the glaze off the top so that it'll take in whatever type of prep you choose to use that particular day. I'm putting some goat pee on here. I don't what? really know how much to put on there. Devin told me to lay it to it, so I'm going to put a nice thick glaze on there, apparently. Why are we putting goat on there? Well, I know that goat helps out with wet tracks. And I know that this track is going to be wet. So I've done a little bit of research, talked to several people, and uh, all of them told me that most likely I'll be running a lot of goat this whole race. And all the goat's gonna do is apparently it sits on top of the tire from what I've gathered. It kind of sits on top of the tire and helps to really grip the track. So we'll see how truthful that is that coming up soon. No. <laughs> goat is the most aggressive softener we have. Uh, in the carding industry, period, goat is one of the most aggressive softeners. You can go out with it wet, so maybe that's what Eddie means, but you definitely want to give the tire time for that goat to soak in so it'll soften the rubber. I'll tell you what you're going to need to do too, Eddie. You're gonna probably going to want all your tires out of the sun. You don't, want the front, sun. you don't want your front tires heating up and your back tires sitting in the shade. Because your air is going to expand in whichever tires are getting hot. Well, these right here are sitting at 8 pounds right this second. Are they higher than they're supposed to be? Yeah. Probably because they've been sitting in the sun. Yeah. Duh. Stagger is the difference <laughs> in the outside of the diameter of each tire. Wrong. Stagger doesn't have anything to do with diameter. Stagger is the circumference of the right side tire versus the left side tire. What's the plan, Eddie? Turn left? Uh, plan so far is to make sure all my left turns don't go right. There he is. <laughs> well, my brakes went out. I was uh, going around and practicing. I felt good. I didn't know how many laps I actually get to go, but I felt I got a good feel to a track. And I actually was feeling kind of confident. Anybody feel confident going that slow? And then all of a sudden, the brakes just all the way through the floor and nothing to stop with. I had to uh, swerve around a couple of people. And um, luckily, one of them, I know, Matt Bale, I'll throw your name out there. You, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you looked at me like I was crazy. But I guess you heard me when I said I have no brakes. I've had a few calls this week about some of those people he had to dodge. To take your brake fluid? Yeah, I'm, I'm about to. I'm getting somebody to check it right now. We're cleaning the tires up. They've already called us back out there again. I don't know what they're calling for this time, to be honest with you. Yeah, I'm in the grid. But I know we're supposed to be in the grid, and I'm not over there. All right, so so far, we just found out we got a busted brake line, which really sucks, because I really want to do this. Um, let's see if we can find a brake line. We'll be back in a little bit. First episode of Eddie Goes Racing is nothing short of adventurous. What's the deal? What is he doing? I think they're calling us. But I can't hear anything. Eddie's on his way to qualify. Eddie Goes Racing. Eddie drops something. There he goes qualifying. Uh, plug in for it. So we went out there on our um, qualifying, on our heat race. Uh, I stayed on the track. Not really. 
about the best I can say. Um, the cart felt like it handled well. It didn't break loose. Felt like it was really sticking to the track good, but not too much. Like I didn't have any like wheel hop or anything. One thing I did notice was that everybody else was walking away from me. Um, I don't have a tack, so I don't know how hard I'm turning. I'm taking it to legs now. I'm hoping that he's got a tack and hook up to it. Make sure I'm turning 5500 RPMs, which is what the rule states. And make sure I'm not, you know, under that. So, point turn about 4500 RPM. That's not good when I can turn 55. So that would explain why I'm in the very back and he's falling back even further. Um, he got the look and first off my throttle cable was way too loose. What's up, Devin? Thought you was crew chief. No brakes, throttle cable's loose. I gotta tighten this bad boy back up. Um, but he did tell me, give me a tip. Where this right here, this bar's fit, sitting on a floor pan. He said to make sure I lift the front of the cart up before I adjust it. Because if I adjust it while it's like that, it'll still be off. So he wants me to go ahead and adjust it and take it back up there to him. And then we're going to, uh, uh, he's gonna test it again for me. So what happens if you grab the flame? Never a good idea to torch coat while it's wet. I'm gonna have to have a talk with Jordan. Eddie's about to actually go racing. Uh, track is wet, really wet. There's some water standing in some places. It's uh, it's glistening. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be slick. Um, I think we kind of overdid it on the prep. No, you didn't. I am starting dead last, so it helps me feel better. It shouldn't, but it does because I'm really nervous. There's nine carts racing, including myself. And if I can just come in not ninth, I'll be doing great. Doing great. Oh, let's have fun. Shake out a nurse. Shake it out. Shake and bake, Eddie. So we just made it through a first race. Um, Eddie goes racing, and um, I didn't spin out. Because he's going too slow. I didn't finish in last. Because somebody else pulled off. And that makes me pretty daggone happy, man. The track, though, dude, I, I don't know. It was wet. Like, I could not, I could not keep from it. Especially going into the corners, I just could not keep it from just, I, I don't know. I guess that's something you learn as you go along. Um, I think next time we do this, we're gonna go ahead and maybe put a little bit more goat pee on him, have him a little, punch him a little bit softer. Um, we thought we were in the right spot, but uh, my tire man over here told me we could have been a little bit softer. But overall, I had a blast. A lot of fun. I didn't finish last. That could be because somebody dropped out. I don't know, it don't matter. <laughs> we'll see you again soon. I think overall Eddie did good. I told him that week leading up, if he could keep from spinning out, in the race. If he can stay on the lead lap, he can consider that an accomplishment. Um, and from what he tells me, he didn't spin out and he did stay on the lead lap. Now maybe it was because he was going too slow. I don't know. But um, I feel like he done pretty good for his first time. I don't think it will take much to make him competitive. Hopefully throughout the season we can make some improvements each race and see where he ends up.